this next topic, auto loan approvals or Tesla financing approvals are getting tougher. And we'll give you the exact steps on if you're looking to get approved, how to maximize your chances of getting approved for Tesla financing. So let's take a look at it. But if you're just running in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to car dealership guy. He posted this quote, financing a car is getting tougher. Auto credit availability declined again in January and now at its lowest point since August of 2020. And it's not just subprime. If you don't know what subprime is, that's basically people with a lower credit, like 500 to 600, that's going to get a higher interest rate. So if you're above that, you're considered prime, which is like 700 to 800. Credit is showing tiny across every type of lender and customer profile. And so really, if you're looking to buy a Tesla, there's a couple steps that you have to do to make sure that you'll get qualified. Of course, obviously, the biggest one is making sure you have a good credit score and you know above 700 maybe even at close to 800 as much as possible the second one is of course paying any debts that you have with like credit cards and other things like that to try and clear up your revolvable type of credit and the last one if you are a first time buyer to a tesla or have never financed a tesla before in the past you're going to need at least 20 to 30 percent down maybe even more money down to get an approval anything less you kind of run the risk of actually not getting approved. So if you're curious on what that actually translates to, if you're going to be buying a $40,000 Tesla Model Y, then you're probably going to need about $8,000 to $10,000 in cash down to be able to get approved for the financing. Of course, leasing usually is an easier approval because you can do a lower amount down and it's really not, you're not really financing the whole amount, even though you still kind of are. So definitely if you're having trouble with financing and not getting approved, Maybe consider switching to a lease to build up your credits because, or build up your credit history because yes, you can do a two-year lease or a three-year lease, but you're going to, as long as you make on time of payments, you're going to get the credit or the history of paying those payments and then you can build up your credit and then finance a vehicle in the future after that but definitely some pretty interesting stuff you know purchasing a vehicle is going to get tougher and tougher and so that's really where making sure you have the best credit from the get-go is going to give you the best starting point but definitely some pretty interesting stuff let me know what your thoughts on it 